G'day everybody, uh, Findog here. So today we're diagnosing a problem with the ute. It's blowing a lot of white smoke, especially at lights and things like that. When it's sitting idling, it's blowing white smoke, maybe even has a bit of a blue tint to it. Um, I don't think it's coolant because the overflow tank is sitting at a level where I set it at, so it's just above full. Uh, there's no oil or any residue or anything dirty in the uh, radiator. It's not losing any fluid at any point. So it leads me to think there's probably not a crack in the head. Um, I'm, I'm leaning more towards like piston rings or fuel timing. So today we're going to do a compression test on all the cylinders. We should be sitting at about 400 on each cylinder. We're also going to be adjusting the fuel timing. So we're going to retard it a little bit because of advanced the fuel timing. So we're going to see if that fixes any of the problems. And after that, we'll be checking the timing uh, with the timing belt on the camp and the fuel pump. Just making sure that that's all where we want it. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience one day at a time Alrighty, so cylinder 3 has 380 PSI. Uh, I don't know why I started on cylinder 3. I think it's because it was the hardest one for me to get my hands into uh, behind those little vacuum solenoids. So I'll write that down, 380 on C3, and then um, I'll do 4, then I'll do 2, and then I'll do 1. Okay, so we're on to cylinder 4. Uh, the best bit about this is I can see the gauge through the window. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but I can clearly see it. So once more, we're going for about 400. It's uh, starting to have a bit of an effect on the battery now, which is a bit of a shame. Or it's um, overheating the starter motor, but either way, looks like I'm getting about 400 PSI. Yep, so we're sitting on 400 on cylinder 4. Time for number 2 and number 1. Alrighty, cylinder 2. Looks like it's sitting at about 390. So that's not too bad at all. So, cylinder 1 has 390 PSI. So the the cylinders seem to be in great condition, or good con good condition. Um, so this is how a compression tester works. This little fitting goes into the glow plug holes, and then the gauge actually hooks onto that, and it shows you the pressure in the cylinder when you turn the engine. So it gives you a bit of an idea of how the, um, you know, if there's a crack in the head, if you've got a head gasket gone, or piston rings or something. So what we'll do now is we'll put all the glow plugs and stuff back together, put the glow plug rail on, and then we'll start looking at the fuel adjustment. Far from anxiety, I need my space, I need my privacy, I need some silence, please, you're all too loud, you don't speak quietly, opinions violently, thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous, it's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning, hope that we can make a turn and start reversing, all our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man. Alright, all that's back together. 
Now's a good time to mention all of the audio that I recorded originally for this video is completely unusable. So that's why you can't hear me start it or anything. But it started up, um, it blew a lot of smoke, but I think that's just because doing the compression test put a lot of unburnt diesel into the cylinder. So that wasn't a part of my problem. But yep, yeah, she started, ran fine, didn't obviously shouldn't have changed anything, nothing was added or changed. So the audio, as I just said in the last clip, is completely unusable, as the text says. But there's two bolts that hold the main part of the fuel pump on. So what I'm showing here is the one at the back behind the fuel pump. It's quite hard to access. Um, swivel nose bit with a 12mm socket on it with a long extension will get it. It's not too bad, you can kind of just see my socket going into the bolt there, which is... The other bolt is on the other side of the fuel pump, so opposite to where that one was. And there's one at the back that is on a little bracket, it's smaller, and it just holds it on. Okay, so I moved the whole pump back about 3 mils, so retarded the timing about 3 mils. Not a big difference, but um, now we'll rip the timing cover off, check the timing, so we'll get the timing marks in place and we'll just make sure that the adjustment didn't put the timing out. So the timing cover is one, two, three, four, another bolt up behind the loom, and then there's another bolt at the bottom. Uh, you can't see it because of my charge piping, but it is there. Okay, so an easy little trick to turn the engine without having to get a bolt on the crankshaft, 24 mil nut on the alternator, and then you turn it clockwise, so to the right. Alrighty, so for the timing marks on the cam pulley, you get that in line with the top little notch there. There's a little notch on the f on the fuel pump pulley. That lines up with a little arrow to the left-hand side on the top of the housing. It can be a bit difficult to see in this video because it's so dark. And then on the crank pulley, there's two marks. You want it on the second mark, moving the engine clockwise. So all three of those marks should line up at the same time. Sorry, in the same place. So the timing here is on point. So we'll start it up and see what we get after I've changed the timing. And as I said, the audio doesn't work, but the ute doesn't start here. Uh, so we'll troubleshoot that. We'll figure that out quickly. So no start at all. So that's not a good sign after just doing an adjustment. See if anything's noticeably unplugged. Uh, nothing there. So we'll figure it out. So we found the problem. It was just a 60 amp glow plug fuse. Oh, relay, sorry. So it's no worries at all. The, it's out of focus, but the little, the little part of the fuse which connects is snapped or burnt out. So we'll buy one of those and replace it. I ended up having to go to the shops. So I bought two, one as a spare, chuck that back in and fingers crossed that it starts the ute. So go to start it up and she starts right up. So no issues at all. It was just a glow plug relay. Nice smoky, smoke, smoke. But yeah, starts, runs, and that's the white smoke I'm talking about. So that isn't unburnt fuel. That is an issue, and that's what I'm trying to identify. So what actually, spoiler alert, what actually ended up happening was, I'll put a little video in here. Uh, it is the piston ring, so it has excessive blow-by. I uh, blocked off the catch can and I did a little test. As I said, I'll chuck that video in right now. This is what you want to see. Woo! Piston rings are fucked. They've been going for ages though. But that's it for this video. That should tell you how to do a compression test and adjust your timing. Really appreciate the support and I appreciate you guys watching. If you have a comment, leave it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Fin Dog out.